Hey, welcome to my channel. So I wanted to do a video today on instant manifestation to get things within 24 hours. I'm not saying absolutely everything. I haven't tried to manifest absolutely everything, but I certainly believe that most things are achievable to manifest within 24 hours. Now I did make a video saying about quick fixes and how we are addicted to quick fixes, etc. But manifesting in itself, it is an instantaneous thing. It is something that really happens very, very quickly. It's not the manifesting that takes the work. I actually am a firm believer that we don't even really need to manifest in essence because our soul already knows what's our highest desire. We already know. It's not like you don't ever think about what you really, really want in life or what makes you feel the happiest. But really the work comes in learning to let go, learning to allow, learning to basically well, to, to heal those wounds and triggers that make us react to things rather than allowing them to come in. Now, as you know, I'm sort of a on the fence manifesting person. So I do believe in manifesting and I do believe that we can create anything that we want to create. And I'm not going to be here to tell you what you should or shouldn't create, because even if it's not in your highest joy, you will probably learn something from the experience. And, you know, I just don't think that we should ever tell people what they can and can't, you know, manifest or learn on their spiritual journey. But for me, I always run things through filters because I have learned that not everything that we want with our ego is really our highest desire. And there's some ego programs that I feel we can run things through regularly because you don't always see things straight away. Sometimes it takes a few months, a few years, a few weeks to kind of start to see clearly. I run it through filters, ego programs, you know, it, do I really want this thing because my heart really sings for this thing and I feel real joy around this thing and this really feels like in my highest alignment, it feels something I desire or do I deep down want it because it makes me feel safe? Or do I want it because it makes me feel, you know, it fulfills my survival pattern, I kind of need it to survive. Or do I want this thing because it makes me feel like a winner somehow, you know, it makes me feel like I am more superior if I have this person or I have this thing and it makes me feel more respected. Or do I want this thing because, you know, I like the physical appearance, like I'm, I'm drawn to it lustfully, but it's not, you know, the things that are truly ours, we will feel in our heart. We love from our heart. We don't love through an ego program. There's nothing wrong with having things through ego programs. We're all going to do it during our lifetime. And it's just a, an experience. But when we really want those heart-centered things and we really want to bring things in through manifesting that make us feel, you know, make our hearts sing and make us feel so joyful, I personally think it's great to constantly check in with yourself, to check in with your your heart and your soul and, and question why you want these things or these people and keep that as an ongoing an ongoing experience. But back to manifesting, the quickest way I personally have brought things in and the most effective is visualizing and feeling as feeling things as if they are real. So I've brought in many things where I've got them within hours of a really successful Hey guys, sorry, my battery uh, died then, so I had to jump back on. Um, so yeah, whenever I've manifested things really, really quickly and I've done a very successful man visualization, you can feel it. It's almost like you can feel that a seed has been planted and you can totally let it go and you can move on with your day. Whereas when you haven't, I feel like it always sort of feels somewhat unfulfilled. And that's a hard thing to explain. And I think you only really know when you start to have successful visualizations that have results you can tell that it's a different feeling but the essence behind it is that you are able to let go and you don't have major resistance to it because a lot of the time even when we're visualizing we have resistance so even as we're doing a visualization we could be thinking oh my god you know you're lying there and you're visualizing your scene and you're doing it purely to get it to happen and from my experience, they don't really work. The visualizations that happen really, really quickly are the ones where I'm actually enjoying the experience. I'm actually in the now, in my visualization, enjoying having the feeling that 
I'm with that person or enjoying the feeling that I'm in in this place I want to be or that I am selling my art you know whatever it is that you want to experience whenever I'm actually enjoying that feeling rather than almost trying to like force it through the eye of a needle that's when things really really happen quickly for me and they come in almost you know, I've had things come in within hours, like people come back that I've not spoke to for years, um, things selling. Even more recently, my long distance connection, which, you know, the gap has been trying to be closed due to, you know, not having that freedom to flow in and out of each other's lives as quickly as we'd like to. Um, I visual, I was very frustrated and I could own that energy that I wasn't successfully manifesting because I was frustrated all the time. So even when I was visualizing or I was manifesting, there was always a sense of frustration and, and my wounds being triggered. Um, even though I, w I don't get particularly crazy triggered anymore, you know, there'd be like subtle triggers there. And as soon as I truly let that go, and for me, that meant walking away, actually. I And I visualized us hugging at the airport and within 24 hours, the tickets are being booked. And, uh, you know, things like this happen to me all the time, but there, there's really, you, ha you have to kind of let it flow. And that's really where the work is. So yes, manifestation is instant. Yes, we can bring things in instantly. The reason you're probably not, and the reason that we're not is because there's resistance in the way. And that's why some things are easier than others. Some things like, really really easy to bring in right because we don't have a mate we don't have resistance to those things and some things are really really difficult because it's just we have so many feelings and energies like in interacting in the middle of receiving them it's not a pure feeling it and feeling happy in the visualization but if you can really get that down honestly that is when things come in instantly but like i said you know then we have to question is this our heart's desire or is this something that we actually wanted because of our wounds because our wounds felt rejected so we were determined to get them back and that is a bit of a process there isn't like i said you can just constantly question yourself and question why you are manifesting things why you're wanting things and go into meditation, spend time with yourself, really go within. Because oh, the answer is in the feeling. The answer is in the feeling. Is it a heart-centered feeling or is it an ego-centered feeling? And sometimes it's not that clear which is which. And that actually takes some time to work out whether it is a heart feeling or not. It, it's all about trying to enjoy the process of manifesting, enjoying those visualizations, enjoying the feeling that you're bringing in. And it does take time to get there. It really does. That's why, you know, people, and, and you can also bring things in because you've managed to slip into that moment. And then all the old issues just resurface and you end up repeating. And again, it's just, it's just resistance. It's just stuff that you need to work through. And that is your journey. And that takes as long as it takes. It probably takes our whole lifetime to get, you know, really right there um, to where, we can just instantly manifest our heart's desire and it stays. That is the journey, that's the process. Otherwise everyone, if it was just as simple as tricks and techniques, everyone would be living their absolute dream within two days. The work is all this other stuff outside of manifesting, you know, looking at your shadow self, looking at your ego programs, seeing where things feel in your body like does that feel heart-centered or does that is that really something that you're just chasing to to fulfill one of your you know programs that we're conditioned with here in society like I said there's no quick fixes to this it's a process it's a lifetime of learning and that's where the work comes with manifesting not in the actual manifest it and that's an instantaneous thing it always will be an instantaneous thing you can have anything you want instantaneously it's your job just to remove those triggers negative feelings wounds conditions what have you that are in the way and that is a journey that is a process